If the price of your insurance has been going up, that money could be going into a few places. It could be going into the pockets of insurance companies, or it could be going to pay for payouts and all the costs involved in processing them. Our premiums going through the roof, it went from 1,700 to 4,800 overnight. In recent months, there's been growing concern about payouts. It's a colossal problem. It is um, reaching a point of crisis at this point in time. More and more business owners and analysts are pointing to what they call compo culture. It only takes Miriam one or two claims to close a business. So if we have a compo culture, What's the government going to do about it? And what can it do about it? Let's say you get a whiplash injury and you make a claim to your insurer, and that ends up in court. Any payout you get is likely to be four or even five times the amount you'd get for the very same injury in the UK. The amount of cash available for very minor injuries is critics say what inspires a compo culture and led to a whole industry where claimants fake, exaggerate or stage injuries with the aim of pocketing thousands of euro. In the interim, pushing up all our premiums. Whilst the number of totally fake claims may be small, the payouts can be huge. We don't know how many happen, but we do know these cases exist. We've even broadcast faked accidents on primetime. You know, you get that inkling as you're even arriving on scene, just looking at where the position of the vehicle is, looking at where the position of people is, you go, something's not quite right here. Something that, you know, that sixth sense is going, this is nonsense. So with public anger growing around the whole issue and increasing political pressure on the government about it, you might think they try to do something about it, like pass a law. And that's what it says it's been trying to do. The government says it's working on several pieces of legislation to tackle the issue, but there are problems. I want to bring down the levels of awards and make no mistake, it's not easy. It's not easy to take on the lawyers, the judges, and it's not easy to take on the insurance companies as well. But I'm prepared to do that. I have moved four pieces of legislation. The last piece is the important piece, the crucial piece. So what does that mean and where is this all headed? To understand that, you first need to understand how the legal system operates when it comes to awards and what politicians can and can't do about that. The constitutional separation between the courts and the Oireachtas means that the Dáil cannot intrude on judges' decision making. And when compensation claims get to court, it's the judges who decide on the size of payouts. If the Oireachtas passes a bill capping the amount the courts can award, it may well end up being deemed unconstitutional. In that case, we'd be looking at a long and protracted legal process before there was real change to the system. In fact, it might lead to the necessity for something else, which some say is the only way to settle this issue, ask the people. A referendum could change the constitution. Some legal analysts think one may well be necessary if the government wants to cap payouts but planning a vote would take time. Instead, the government's hopes are being pinned on the creation of a judicial council. That's what the last and so-called crucial piece of legislation is about. It's trying to pass a bill to create a judicial council before the dole goes on summer holidays in mid-July. The council could set new guidelines for judges, bringing down the level of awards for relatively minor injuries. But that law's already been in the making for two years and after it's formed, the council would have to meet and consider the issue. More time, more payouts, more concerned business owners and premium payers. Whatever happens, it seems the price of insurance for business and community facilities won't be coming down in the immediate future. That's because the insurance industry says it's making an underwriting loss on the cost of claims from businesses and voluntary groups, which is pushing up the cost of insurance generally. But remember this, last year, three of the country's biggest insurers made 200 million euro in profit. They say mostly driven by motor insurance. The industry has said that payouts drive costs, but critics say they have produced very little data to support this, leading to accusations that companies are using the cost of payouts on businesses and facilities as an excuse to pump up premiums. We'll have to wait until the bill is passed and the Judicial Council does its work to see if claims come down and, crucially, if insurance companies really do pass on those savings to you and to me.